I filmed this video four times. Yes, four separate times. So, wish me luck on this one. This haul is going to be a good one because everything's from Princess Polly and y'all know I love Princess Polly. Thank you to Princess Polly for these clothes. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you guys for letting me have these opportunities because no brand will give a shit about me without you guys. So, thank you. Oh god, I really just did that, huh? You can use my code JazzyXL for 20% off and yeah, I'm an influencer. I have a coupon code. It's whatever. If you're shipping to the US, if you spend over $50, you get free express shipping, which is two days because Amazon Prime who? Jeff Bezos got nothing on us. And Princess Polly offers afterpay, which is good. I really do like my style right now. Don't get me wrong. I'm not really planning on changing it, but I wanted to grab these pieces to kind of jump out of my comfort zone a little bit and just kind of challenge myself and get more mature pieces because I am almost 20 years old. I know that is a lot to handle. I don't look like it and I don't claim that I look 20. And I'm kind of having this like existential crisis of like, how am I supposed to dress when I'm 20? I feel like I still can't dress like I'm six, even though I do. So I don't know. I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more mature pieces in there. I sprinkled in some like early 2000s inspired items too, but I try to make it a little bit more mature. We'll see how this goes. I picked out some springy looks, so let's get on to it. I'm excited to show you guys. I'm gonna start off with what I'm wearing right now so I don't forget. Oh, also, so sorry about my nails. This lockdown has not been treating me well and I'm just way too lazy to glue them back because I'm not seeing anyone. Okay, as I was saying, this denim play suit makes me feel so powerful and just so cool. I just love it so much. There's so many pockets in here too, so I can hide mysterious things in here and you would never know. I think this is the kind of thing that people with their shit together would wear and honestly, play the part. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I don't really have many rompers. I bought some more, but I don't have anything really like this. So I'm excited to try to style her and walk out with her. I'm going to feel so confident and cool because I just love it. It gives me very 70 vibes and I just want to have a solo dance party in my room with like six inch pumps. It is a little awkward though when you have to pee and you have to unbutton this entire thing. You're just naked on the toilet but you know it's worth it it's worth the empowerment moving on to tops i have two and if you've seen a past princess polly haul i have this brown long sleeve that i love so much i wear her a lot so i was like you know i'm gonna get it in black and i'm not gonna stop there i also got it in white hey if you like a top and it comes in different colors like you can't just not buy all the colors right okay don't kill me but these are just so nice to layer and they're so warm but not too warm and it's just so comfortable Everything that I could ask for in a long sleeve is here. They're mock neck, so it's kind of like fun. And I like the look of mock neck tops with a nice like layered necklace situation going on. I think it's really nice and fashionable. It's ribbed and my favorite part about it is that it has frillies on the end, which I think adds a little spunk to it. So yes, I have this in black, white, and brown, but who's gonna stop me? If it comes with any more colors, you know I'm getting those. This is my favorite cardigan at the moment. It's a nice, furry light blue cardigan and i love cardigans you know that that's really all i wear so this when i saw it i was like i need her now so here she is this is really weird but literally when i was in san diego and i missed my dogs i would just like touch this and i would feel like i'm holding my dog i know that sounds so weird but like in the moment it helped me again it is so soft literally i could sleep in these and i probably will one day because i just love i just feel bougie in this i feel like a scream queen i have been obsessed with animal print lately and i got this zebra one wow i love her on the website i saw that they styled this with this and i was like well I gotta get the whole outfit so here we are the structure is really nice i don't have many skirts like this that are like structured but i like it because it kind of keeps everything in it's loud but muted at the same time since so it's black and white but it's like zebra print and i don't know i really really like it i think styling it as the staple piece is something that i will be doing a lot or i could also have it kind of like a little oh hey i'm here what i mean by that is like you know that trend where you wear a sweater over a skirt and the skirt kind of peeks out like i feel like this would be so cute over a muted color sweater and just having this be like hey hello i'm zebra print I don't know. It's just in my head. I don't know how it's gonna look. I've been really into the trend of sheer tights and I feel like this would look so good with sheer tights and just having like big ass black boots. Yes. I didn't stop with the animal print there. This is a very different material from the last one. It's kind of more of a satiny and it has a little detail 
in it, embedded in it, if you look a little bit closely, um, there's a floral detailing in it and I think it is so gorgeous. I really like the flowiness of it. I just want to twirl in this. But yeah, do you see how it's kind of reflective? And I've been really liking this animal print too. Yay! I'm not really one to wear super loud patterns like this, so I'm excited to try to learn how to mix patterns or, you know, just style them in general because I don't really know where to start, but that's what these are for. These really remind me of 2013 Tumblr times and 13 year old me would be so excited. I feel like these shorts were everywhere in Tumblr back in the day and I really liked it. 2013 is a very different time for 13 year olds and 13 year olds now. Y'all have TikTok and just everything like that. We had Club Penguin and Pop Tropica, Vantage. It was a different time. This wash is to die for. I really like how just uniform it is. The fit I think looks really flattering and I mean, can you go wrong with a nice pair of denim shorts? I don't think so. The mid-rise jean trend is coming back. So I got these dad jeans. Dad, dad jeans. I got these dad jeans and they're the ragged brand because I really love this brand. And they're black because I don't have many black jeans and I thought, hey, why not? So here we go. I actually think these are so flattering because I mean, it goes below your belly button, but since they're a relaxed fit, I think it kind of gives you that hourglass shape still, even if it's not high waisted and it's like pushing everything in, you know? So I really like these and I have really short legs. I am 5'1 and I'm literally like all torso. So these go pretty long on me, but I really actually like that. I like when it goes over my shoes, if I'm wearing boots or fila. And when it goes over, it kind of even elongates your leg and makes it look longer and honestly who doesn't want long legs i'm really trying to learn how to style mid-rise jeans i'm not very familiar in that territory i usually wear ultra high rise that like literally go up to under boobs so i'm very excited to learn how to do these princess polly has so many cute tops that i've had from like other hauls and i'm very excited to learn how to pair them together i feel like these are probably one of my new favorite jeans they're so comfortable and i just love like being in them. As I said before, I don't really have many rompers, so I try to go for this one. This is kind of like if spring threw up on a romper and I'm living for it. Yellow is one of my favorite colors, if you didn't know that, by the way. I ultimately chose this one because I like how it has the pops of yellow, but the dominant color is black, so it's not too loud for me. I do want to learn how to style more loud colored and just like bright red or bright yellow things, but I don't really know how to do that yet. So I thought I would kind of ease myself into it. This is so flowy and like twirly approved. I just want to twirl in this in like a bed of daisies. Honestly, that's like the best thing I could do right now. The sleeves are gorgeous. I like how it like is like lays. I like how it, it's just structured. And it's one of those rompers that looks like a dress. So you could be fooling people but just like spread your legs and be like, ah, it's a romper. And I mean, alarm some people, but it's a cool party trick, I guess. I just feel really cute and pretty in this, and I really like it, and I can't wait for it to get a little bit warmer, and I could go outside into the world and wear this. So this next piece is something that I was really scared about. I was like, oh my god, I can never pull it off. It's not gonna look good on me, blah, 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 blah. Like, I've always seen these type of dresses, and I've been always wanted to get it, but I was like, no, I would never look good in it, and it would look so ugly on me, like, I would ruin it, but I was like, you know what? I need to suck it up and try it. So it is a little black dress. It's kind of like a slip dress type thing. The lace detailing is very cute and scandalous and I'm so here for it. The thing that makes me insecure is not the like body clonness of the dress because honestly, this dress makes my butt look so good. Like I was shocked. My boyfriend was like, down and I was like I don't know right I really do like the cute just like sexiness of it but I really am very insecure of my chest area um it's just something that I've dealt with for my entire life I actually have a consult scheduled next week um for that but I'm not really gonna talk about that right now anyways but you can see how it's very revealing at this part and it's spaghetti straps and I really hate the way that I look at spaghetti straps like I hate my arms I have like armpit fat and it's just not and it really accentuates this or the lack thereof and yeah I don't know I was really nervous about it but I was like you know what I'm gonna try it on and then when I tried it on I was like hey I don't look that bad in it though. That was a nice surprise, but I don't think I'm confident enough yet to just wear it like this. I'm definitely gonna layer something under or over. I really like the trend of having cute slip dresses and then putting like a huge dad jacket over and it's like kind of like a cool juxtaposition type situation. But yeah, that's just something I kind of wanted to talk about. I also think this would look really cute with the sheer tight trend thing, an all black outfit. 
that's sexy. Now moving on to accessories, kind of onto that little like hating my chest <laughs> thing. I really do like the look of wearing white bralettes with kind of plunging dresses. I like when it peeks out and it's just like, hey, so that's why I got her. And I think it looks really cute by itself too. It's long at the bottom, so you could really wear this by itself and like with a really cute pair of like high-waisted jeans or low-waisted jeans, whatever you want to do. Gold jewelry is something I don't really wear that often i just don't have a lot of it i just got a lot recently i just don't really wear it i've been trying to kind of get out of my comfort zone as i said before so i'm gonna try to wear gold jewelry more i usually just wear silver as you can see but i thought i would get some earrings i got these tiny hoops because can you go wrong with hoops no you cannot and i got this belt and it's gold and that's basically all I have to say about it if i'm gonna wear gold jewelry i have to match my belts too because i'm not really one to mix metal so i thought i would get a gold belt to try to complement the jewelry but you know i'm always gonna stick to my roots so i got a silver belt as well this one's really dope i think it has a really cool chain hanging thing that's going off of it and i really like this this kind of clasp because it doesn't have holes so you don't have to punch more holes if you need to do whatever you need to do in there and then it's done these are the type of belts that you can wear to cinch in a dress so you don't have to use like belt loop things and i really like that because i have some dresses that are not very fitted at the waist so i think these would be perfect to try to suck everything in <laughs> and lastly i have this purse right here the reason why i got this is because i don't have many purses i have one like mini purse that just goes around but it really can't carry that much and other than that i just wear a mini backpack so i thought i would try to make myself a little bit more mature and look older with a purse i opted for a crossbody because then it makes it easier to put on and just keep on you and i get really scared that people are gonna rob me so like having this would just yank me so if they're gonna take my purse they're gonna take me with them i don't know if i want that it sounded better in my head but for pictures or if i'm feeling risky i could hold it like this too so that's fun. That is all for the haul. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much, Princess Polly, for the clothes. I appreciate it. And to you guys as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Was it worth filming four times? I don't know, but it's done now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.